So good morning, everyone. Okay, my name is Priya. I'm from Kerpe, and I'm the products director at Kerpe. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the innovation we have. Okay, so this is Kerpe, and I'm going to share our story with you. Um, okay, let's get this right. Okay, we'll go backwards. <laughs> okay, so this is the problem that we're solving, and I think most of you are familiar. In, in most developing world, for every program that you create, you create your own network of clinics, you, ha you go and contract the clinics, you develop an EMR platform, you do an M&E &E solution, and everything is for the poor patient, they, or the, for the provider, they're dealing with 10 different systems, one for their HIV program, one for their TB program, and by the time you get to them, they're exhausted with a number of different programs and, and systems they're, they're working with. So we thought, okay, there's, this problem is not just unique to donors, it it's affects private insurance, it affects public insurance. So this is the kind of spaghetti that everybody's dealing with, whether it's the provider, whether it's the patient, it's the payer. So we thought, wouldn't it be cool, because most of the people in, in, in Africa are now using their mobile phone. Could we systemize the mobile phone in such a way that multiple payers could source, could pull together and, and provide comprehensive healthcare to this uh, individual and bring the patient right at the center of this treatment because that's where they are. The patient is usually left on the side with very little involvement in their care. So using the mobile phone, um, you can, a, a, a donor or an insurance company uh, can communicate via the mobile phone both to the patient as well as to the clinics. So the clinics gets full information of what the patient is, is entitled for, the patient is aware of what benefits they have and is in control of those benefits. And, and in this ecosystem, everybody benefits from the data that's generated from this platform. So to make it easy, I'm going to show you, if I can do this, um, I'm going to show you okay. a, a couple of videos that just take you through some of the interfaces that we've created. So this is just one of our apps. Um, this is an app we used to, to enroll two and a half million people into universal healthcare in Kenya. Uh, it can, it's versatile, it can be configured into any different program that you would like to enroll people on. This is just one of the interfaces. We have similar apps that are used by the uh, patient as well. So this is a way you can systemize, so if you wanted to enroll anybody onto healthcare. Um, this is the USSD menu, which in, in Africa is a reality. Not everybody's using a, a smartphone, so you need to be able to communicate with them using their feature phone. So they can check their balance, they can open their transaction, they can view the nearest clinic. There's a lot of information they get from this interface and anybody can, can use this. Um, so they get a transaction. This is an interface that we use for the provider. So the provider can uh, see the patient, can see full analytics of what has been going on in their, on their platform and it equips them. This is another tool that we built which is um, a tool for the doctor. So this helps the doctor take a patient through a treatment journey and, and to remind the patient to make sure they've followed their treatment protocols. It's just a tool to help them make their job easier as they, as they treat these patients. And they can see full visibility of what the patient has been doing, what they may have missed. Um, and and it's, it's, it's working really well for some of the NCD programs, for the mother and child programs, and we've got several of these apps. So this is just a feel of, of some of the tools that we have. Um, if you look at the ecosystem we've created, the aim is to connect everybody through the patient. So the, through the mobile phone, the payers are able to give, um, multiple payers can finance healthcare um, through the mobile phone. And this communication then is shared with the providers who can then comply with whatever rules you had in terms of providing those benefits. Insurance companies can do the same. And using the mobile phone, the patient is also able to make financial 
payments much easier. So if they wanted to enroll onto a healthcare program, then this makes it very easy for them to pay their premium. It also makes it possible for payers who would like to pay for their premium. So in Africa, you're quite familiar, you may be familiar that a lot of people pay for other people. And again, by using this platform, they, they, they are sure that that healthcare is actually, that money is going towards healthcare. Oops, okay. I... Sorry about that. Okay, so maybe some of the stats of what we've done so far. So we've, we've got a, over 4 million people on the platform, uh, 1,200 providers connected on the platform. Uh, we have our team that go out and enroll these facilities. We track our net promoter score. The main aim is to reduce the time it takes to settle claims. Uh, because in, on average, it takes almost three months before a provider is paid if you're looking at insurance mechanisms. We've handled about 1.4 million transactions and we've been able to dispatch loans to over a thousand facilities. This is one of the incentives for the providers to stay on board with us. Next. Okay, so um, this is some of the programs we've actually done. So we started off with the donor program. We've done savings programs where we have about 1.5 million people in Kenya who save for their own healthcare. And these same patients can receive uh, care from other people. We've done corporate products where we've been able to see that over three years, a particular group has had their cost go down almost 20% just by systemizing the benefits and making sure that the patient is aware of what they're spending, how they're spending their, their benefit, and, and everybody in the eco ecosystem monitoring the, the funds that they have. Um, what do we want to do? So we're currently in Kenya and uh, moving on to Nigeria and Tanzania. By 2018, we, we had hoped to be at 2 million people, but we actually have reached 4 million by the end of 2018. And our ambition, we think, to get to 26 million people by the end of 2020 sounds fairly realistic when we look at the large markets that we're in. For now, we want to focus on Nigeria and Tanzania. Uh, luckily, healthcare is a fairly standard process, so we can replicate the model in different countries. Of course, with the ability of changing currencies, whether it's so the, the platform is configurable by country, so you can change the language on the on the apps or configure whatever. So the platform has been made in such a way that we can actually adapt it to the different markets. Um, what do we want to do now? We want to create as many partnerships so that more and more people are using the platform because for the providers, the key incentive to, is to be able to see more and more patients using the same platform, being able to pay through their wallet. And we've done several partnerships with health insurance, with government, We've also had medical devices configured to, to be able to track treatment and treatment guidelines. Uh, we've worked with various donor uh, projects and pharmaceutical companies as well. So we'd like, to, our aim today is to see if we can develop more and more partnerships and see that people who want to run these programs do not have to create the entire infrastructure themselves and see how we could partner to uh, improve access to care, but also to share the learnings that are just as important as we strive into this very challenging markets. Okay, that, thank you. So it, our aim here is just to keep giving everybody the power to care at, at CarePay. Thank you very much.